Good afternoon and welcome to my Friday ramblings. At the moment, uh, it's a an interesting kind of week. Um, on Monday, we celebrated uh, the Silver Jubilee of one of our priests, uh, Father Martin Iwe, a Burmese priest, uh, who's been part of uh, the Tasmania Church here for nine years. So um, he's been around a while and uh, uh, we celebrated with him. We also celebrated during the week another couple of priests celebrating on the same day, in fact the um, 6th of uh, April, um, 17 years and uh, 37 years. So we've got a wide range of um, fellows making marking time at this time as they uh, move towards uh, significant dates in their journey as well. The rest of the week has been uh, working with uh, some challenging uh, situations. Um, we did the first audit of our um, safe uh, communities uh, practices and protocols and uh, we have uh, quite a number of areas where we haven't yet got all the information that's required to be compliant. Um, they're not greatly significant, they're just paperwork details but um, as we all know that if we don't have the paperwork right we can't really do any checking to ensure that everything's okay. So. That will require us to do uh, quite a bit over the next couple of weeks after Easter to uh, bring that uh, up to date and to get all the information that we require. Also had uh, been challenged by a couple of events that uh, need to happen, some uh, meetings that need to be held, um, some gatherings that need to be uh, organised um, for uh, events that are taking place. One is the Archbishop's Evangelium project we're looking to develop a hub here in Kingston for that to happen. We've also been in, asked to uh, participate in a, um, a national or at least a Tasmanian-wide um, evangel evangelization process as part of the Billy Graham Evangel Evangelizing um, conf Conference. Um, it will be here at the end of May. But to ensure that there might be some Catholic um, people available, to assist anyone who wants to have information about coming back to um, the church and back to the um, practice of their faith. So they are two things that are fairly uh, important and uh, have a high um, degree of, uh, of uh, urgency about them as well as we're also hoping to commence a, an alpha program shortly after Easter and that, um, that will require some more work as well. So as we move into Holy Week, it's looking as if there's a, a lot of work sitting on the uh, desk waiting to be uh, attacked and um, anyone who knows me and knows uh, how I work will know that getting all of those finished is going to be uh, quite a, a draining experience because the tenacity to finish a job isn't one of my strong points. I'm really good at starting them but I'm not very good at finishing them. So that's going to be an interesting couple of um, weeks after Easter as we launch into those projects. This weekend we are coming up to the uh, Palm Sunday celebration and uh, that will be a, a great celebration as it always is. It's an opportunity for us to um, share in the story of Christ's entry into Jerusalem and uh, what that means. It, excuse me, it reminds me of um, several years ago when I was in Jerusalem and uh, Sister Jacinta and I walked um, the path that um, uh, is traditionally the path that the pilgrims in Jerusalem walk on Palm Sunday from Bethsaida up over the hill down through the Mount of Olives and into the city. So there's lots to do, lots to think about and um, a great opportunity for us to share in the story of Holy Week and uh, I look forward to doing that during this these coming days and I wish all of you a very happy and holy week in preparation for the celebration of Easter.